We handle really major catastrophic incidents, whether it be a civil rights violation due to police brutality or a serious injury due to a failure of a defectively designed product or defectively manufactured product. If it's a case that needs justice, then uh, we here try to do whatever we can to make sure that the case gets justice. And we bring consistency to all our cases. Consistency in the vigor that we get into a case and the vigor in which we execute what it is we have to do to make sure that we win for our clients. Amir was a football player, a former football player at UCLA. He was an offensive lineman. Weighed about 305 pounds, used to bench press over 500 pounds. He was a star. After graduating from UCLA, he began boxing, began becoming a fitness trainer when a tragic accident occurred. Amir Nick Ekbatani was traveling home on his motorcycle and passed through an intersection with the green light when suddenly a taxi cab made a left turn in front of him. And he just about missed it. However, the cab's front left bumper area caught his leg. He was thrown from his motorcycle and suffered serious and catastrophic injuries to his left leg. He went through several surgeries to save his femur, the upper part of his leg, but his tibula fibula were badly damaged. They had to, it had to be amputated. Without his left leg, Nick's life completely changed and he was thrust into years of recovery and distress. In order to seek justice and find an immediate remedy to the desperate financial troubles that resulted from the medical bills, he went with an attorney who would file suit against the taxi cab driver. When I woke up in a hospital without my leg, I had no idea that I was already signed to another attorney. My parents had the best intentions and they just wanted to get this resolved as quickly as possible. And that lawyer uh, was trying to get the case settled for the policy limits of the cab driver, which had a $1 million policy. Um, and as a 25-year-old young man who just almost died, it's like anything sounds fantastic. And, and Garl came and he weighed the pros and cons. And, you know, he dug deep and he found a way to, to get past that. Garl and the firm used their invaluable expertise to determine that something much larger was at play, and the negligence of the case ran deeper than just the cab driver. I, I thought uh, that I saw what later would prove to be a line of sight problem, where the motorcyclist and the cab driver couldn't see each other until it was too late. The intersection's location on top of a hill made it impossible for two vehicles to see across and accurately judge when to turn which could easily have been fixed with the addition of a left turn arrow, a double yell, or a median, placing the negligence of the case on Caltrans. One thing that really needs to be paid attention to is the creativity and artistry, in my opinion, of Garl's process. Um, but he also saw a flaw in this intersection. And the more we dug and, and swept away and uncovered things, it's, it, it made a lot of sense. And, yeah, so when I talk about artistry and creativity, it's like this, you gotta be able to see beyond what's easy, you know, and I think he does that incredibly well. The Martirosi and Akaragian firm saw a way to help a struggling Nick beyond the policy limit and took on the case. And the entire firm went into action to make sure we did some justice by him because this was such a severe injury. They rallied all of the resources at their disposal and invested ample time and money into building a powerful case. We left no stone unturned and we prepared models. We hired some of the best experts. We did our own videoing, animations, do accident reconstruction. Once in the courtroom, Garl and his team showcased their powerhouse reputation by expertly cross-examining the witnesses specifically engineers that had driven to that area hundreds of times and noticed the problem, but never really got around to fixing it. And we were able to prove that this is something they knew or should have known. In the end, the Martirosi and Akaragian firm's outstanding work convinced the jury and resulted in a $35 million verdict.
More importantly, the team's exposure of the dangerous conditions that remained in the intersection forced Caltrans to finally implement safety measures that should have been in place for years. Within six months after our verdict, they put a double-double there, and it's been saving lives and legs since. However, through it all, Garo made sure to always have Nick's back, both inside and out of the courtroom. I hit really hard times after my accident. It wasn't the proudest time of my life. I had to lean on, on family, and I had to lean on Garo, and he supported me with my medical bills. He gave me a place to live, and he just had my back. Uh, and, I, and I felt like I was on a team again, and I felt supported, and I felt, you know, there was ups and downs, but I always felt like Garo had my back, and that I really couldn't go wrong. No matter what happened, I, I knew that I can trust Garo. We were happy to have him as a friend, and uh, have him as a, initially a client that we could help. The Martirosian Akaragian firm fights hard for their clients and uses every resource at their fingertips to achieve success. So I believe the reason for our success is that we have a team approach. We don't just have one lawyer handling the case. Our team is basically the whole firm. We have five lawyers, several paralegals, clerks that are on that team at all times. So I'm the head of that team, Armin is the next in line, and we are at all times involved in every case. And so we're directing it, we're making sure that it's being handled right, we're making sure that we're going to win.